Hey hey and welcome to my video. My name is Nina and today we're back with another Let's Decorate. So um, yeah, let's decorate. <laughs> so we are by the museum which you have already seen. So let me just walk over to the area that we will work on today and I thought that it would be nice to work on this little transition area that we have right here because off to the left we have this huge chunk of terraforming which I will not show you guys yet so um, that's something for another time <laughs> to the right we have the start of the village because okay let me open my map real quick I was thinking because this is obviously very very whimsical themed and my fairies which are obviously my villagers are far to the right of my island and it's kind of like a coastal fairy village if you will so yeah this is kind of where it starts we have walker right here who has just recently moved in because i have been very very productive for once and actually amiiboed some villagers in then we have my lookout that we decorated in the last let's decorate and then we have fang's house which i have recently decorated off camera because i wanted to try some things out and experimented a bit with color and wanted to experiment with some flatter designs because i usually just add a bunch of terraforming to kind of make up for lacking height so I wanted to see what I could do without any terraforming. I mean there is a bunch of terraforming around but I feel like it's a lot flatter than my usual stuff. And yeah then all of my villager houses are over here so look at Aurora. Isn't she the cutest? Oh I love the penguins so much. Okay anyways I was not going to give you an island update but I, I guess you just got one. <laughs> I kind of wanted to work on this little transition area because we will also have quite a few builds back here. I did grab and like pre-selected a bunch of items that I was thinking about using and um, yeah so let's maybe just start. I think I will just start by planning out my trees because I have a rough idea for like the overall structure of this build in mind. You know what? Let me start. <laughs> then I will explain while I'm going because otherwise I won't have anything to talk about while I'm doing this and you all will just see me running around in circles until I actually start doing stuff and then I will just shut up all of a sudden so yeah maybe let me just start terraforming <laughs> the pond um, which I was thinking could go here so that we have enough space in front of it to like plant things here would be a very cute spot to have a little picnic spread because you all know that I need to have picnic spreads all over my island. I have them everywhere. I have little seating nooks everywhere because I just don't know what else I should decorate. Yeah, I wanted to add that there just to fill up the little space that this will create. Is that cute shape for a pond? Because it's kind of symmetric. It's not symmetrical, symmetrical, but it's like, it's repeating pattern. So what about we did? No, also full disclosure, I'm very, very sorry if you can hear like some weird noises because today I'm actually lying in bed. I usually record my videos sitting at my desk, obviously, but I felt like staying in bed for this one. So if you hear noises like these, that's my pillow. <laughs> you just gotta deal with it. I'm not changing it. I'm not, I'm way too comfy to get up. Yeah, I just want to keep this very small, I think, so that it won't take up too much space onto trees. Ooh, so tired today. No, why did I plant that there? <sighs> okay, trees are placed. Except for this one, because I forgot it. Okie dokie. Now, and on my last video, or like my last video while I'm filming this, is it's currently Saturday, June 12th. 12th? June, June tw tw 12th? 12th of June? 12th? Is it 12th? 12th? Sometimes I really want to curse the, Eng the English language. Like, what is this? 
June 12th. Anyways, yeah, under that video, someone commented that they were wondering why I did not use any floating blocks to ooh, to put doll houses on top of. And honestly, I kind of just always forgot that you could do that. So I'm doing that now. So let me actually try and do this because I have never, this is, this is like a first for me today. Oh, how, ew. Well, I mean, you can't see them only as you're walking by, but. <laughs> oh, Jesus, I'm so tired. This was a horrible idea. Horrible, horrible, horrible. Okay, actually, let me grab the other floating blocks so that we can get these in first because I'm kind of thinking that we could then orient the rest of the items around them color wise does that look like it makes sense I mean it's kind of hidden but that's the whole point of it isn't it and then we could have the third one either here which I would not like as much or we could throw that back here no i know that this can go there thank you jesus christ yeah look how cute that is oh i like that and you can kind of see it as you're walking here yeah i think that's good okay so let's maybe start with a picnic thingy because that will kind of give us a direction so maybe we can do or no not maybe we're definitely going to do a layered one because i always do these and i will never stop using them let's see what do we think about this blue dotted one yeah i like that would you move my guy jesus christ look how cute this is i think that's adorable Okay, so let me grab a bunch of items because I have laid out a bunch of items and I will try to use some other items. Also, oh my gosh, okay, okay. I hope you're all sitting down. Sit down if you're not. I will wait. Okay, thank you. Why would you be standing up while watching my videos, you know? But and anyway, I found this custom design on the design portal via the criteria search. Look at this. Look at this. Isn't that the most absolutely adorable flick? Thank you. Practice your walk somewhere else. Bye bye, sir. See you later. So, bread. And then I also downloaded this, which is this terry cloth. Not terry. Is it? D d does it say terry cloth? Oh no, tated cloth. I was like, terry cloth. Why would it be? Yeah, no. Okay. And I was thinking we could then wrap up like just one item that we won't use anyways. And then this will kind of look like this bread was packaged up in this little thing, like maybe a lunchbox type of thing. And then we still have another bread sitting somewhere that's still wrapped up. Is that a cute idea? Because I think it is. I think it's adorable. I just thought that was like the cutest little touch for the picnic. So maybe I can try and see whether or not this works because I want it to look like it's kind of laying on top of the you know someone just threw it there I mean that's kind of cute isn't it and then we can have maybe the bread I should we have the bread crumbs maybe here next to it or is that not visible enough and then we can drop the thing whenever we decide what we're going to put here so maybe we can kind of cover the situation a bit with the with this one and then drop this one on top oh no we can oh look at this yeah i think i actually really do prefer this can i push this in by one? Oh yeah and then oh do i need to yeah this that way right oh look how cute this is oh i like this little trio of items okay what can we put what yes yes look at this area already it's just very blue 
so I think we may need to bring in some more color because as we noticed in my last couple of builds that's not enough color for me anymore why do I like this I can't do this I'm going way off brand right now oh see that's a bunch of color I kind of don't like the green so maybe we can add the pop-up toaster where is it because then people could come and make sandwiches we finish each other's sandwiches okay but we need to balance the pink a bit more so i'm thinking we need an item right here so custom designs should we add the stand mixer here but then we also need something yellow i was thinking something pink here something yellow here okay so where is my pink mom? Thank you. Honestly, I don't think I want to add too much more to this because this is just a transitional area and I don't want to overdo it. I might actually add a bench here though, or here. So I think this could be a cute spot too. And then I can add a little red crumb thingy again here maybe. But I think actually the bench would also look cute in here. Also, sorry again if you hear my pro controller. <laughs> but my Joy-Cons have some very heavy drift right now. And I've been very lucky to not have gotten any drift for the longest time. But now it has finally happened, which is just so amazing. I'm so happy. I finally got drift. Hmm, actually, I'm feeling this one. And then drop this one. And maybe here we can just throw the mush ah oh. no don't sit okay hmm so maybe we can have the flea placed right here oh that's kind of hidden so maybe have it here i mean you don't have to sit on the bench obviously uh yeah i think that's cute and then a flower here and maybe another i think i will let this large young cedar grow in yeah cool okay maybe we can have a little mushroom setup right here so i think we will actually do the same thing that we did last time can't i place that underneath the block that does not make any sense i can walk under them nothing should shock me anymore at this point to be honest look that's adorable yeah maybe we should have another mush platform here maybe a yellow one and maybe we can have the mush lamp here that's kind of cute but then i kind of want to get rid of this I've gotten that question quite a few times now, so I might as well address it here anyways. Um, I'm currently playing in March, and right now I think, yeah, it's March 26th, <laughs> and I try to stay between March 13th maybe, and March 22nd, 21st, something like that. So I try to stay between these days just because I prefer the colors of the trees because then the trees get like this very pastel green color. I could probably go earlier. I just never do. I, d I don't know why. But yeah. Ooh, what do we think about putting the Karopi bridge here? So that it looks like you could cross over to get to the ferry thing. Oh, should we, should we do it like that? I mean, I do not love the red. But it kind of works with the pink. Ooh, what, what do we think if we just litter this one in clover? Because I think I have reached the weed limit at this point. So I think if we place the clover and we stay in summer, then my island will just be littered in clovers. I think that's quite adorable, actually. I mean, it fits the fairy theme. I'm not sure if it fits my island too well, but... I think it should stay like that for now. Maybe we can hide the gnome back here. I mean, I want it to be very whimsical, but at the same time, I feel like the more whimsical I make it, the more eye story it gets. I feel like it, it's getting a bit heavy on the eyes, so I might need to come back with fresh eyes in the end, because I think then I will probably notice what the problem was. Then we will probably throw a leaf pile here. Where's my leaf pile? There it is it's getting more and more difficult by the minute oh boy 
Today I'm also playing on TV for the first time while recording and my TV just asked me if it should shut down for the third time which is calling me out just slightly, you know? Just slightly. I know that I have a problem with decision making. You don't need to call me out like that. Thank you. <laughs> what to put here? So here we go with the clover meticulousness again. Is it meticulousness? Probably not. And this bridge is kind of still bothering me. The colors are just not it, but it kind of works with the pink. And I think I might actually leave this back part open like that because I will need to see what will go back there. I think I might just do some more planting back here, just some very basic vegetation. <laughs> And then I will come back to you guys with the final walkthrough. See you in a bit. Or actually see you in a second. Because with the magic of editing, here's the final tour. Well, <laughs> Okie dokie, so um, I may sound a little bit different right now and that may be because I might have forgotten that I still had to film the finished product after finishing up this area. Now, <laughs> a little thing happened. I kind of went ham and decorated Walker's yard as well, which won't be a speed build because it's just really this teensy tiny little yard. And then I might have done another speed build back there that I won't be able to show you right now. No, it does not have anything to do with the campsite that you may spot up there to the right. Well, this is a lot fuller now. Yeah, but this is the final product. <laughs> I'm very sorry I didn't take you along. Well, actually, I, I only just didn't show you Walker's Yard and this tiny little connecting space and back there. But still, I'm very sorry. I kind of got carried away. Carried away? Carried away. Yeah, well, but I guess sometimes I just need to take a step back and do some things for myself to just kind of collect myself and collect my creativity as well because I do feel uninspired sometimes as well. But yeah, if you enjoyed this video, I would very much appreciate it. If you like and subscribe to my channel, I would love to have you here. And yeah, take care of yourself. Until next time and bye bye.